All right. Hello, everybody. New match. Uh, let me see. What match is this? Like the first uh, A match? Not, not, not anymore, right? No, no, no. All right. Today, um, Crunchy is running against Gustin. Gustin's PB is a 102.49, and Crunchy's PB is a 101.02, so there's just a bit over, uh, just a bit over a minute and a half difference in their PBs. Looks like Crunchy is practicing snow drum right now, missing it. Oh, it is the first match of A, all right. I hope both runners are ready. I've never really done... The last time I did an SMO race was in 2020. I forgot how it feels like practicing for this stuff. So I hope both of them are ready. Basecamp W, exactly. Crunchy is saying something, I don't know what. I've heard from people this microphone sounds better. Like the, my backup microphone. I should, I should just using this one. Should start using this one. Alright, both runners are getting their files ready. Courts of Geese versus Swedish Fish. Uh, I want to apologize in advance if you hear me make any weird sounds or something. My backup mic has really bad noise cancelling. So if I like blow my nose, <laughs> you'll probably hear it. Alright, both runners are setting up the uh, daylight savings. It'll probably be starting in a few seconds. Also, Preach, both of their segments comes through backend to make my life easier. Oh yeah, for the stats. Oh yeah, I remember last time I... Uh... Oh, there they go. Runner starting software. Yeah, last time I did a... Uh... Last time I did comms, I had to like... Uh... I couldn't read stats because Noah accidentally reset. Oh, Gustin's starting, Crunchy's starting. 
not starting at exactly the same time, they're just stream delay. That's probably expected. Let me get the stats pulled up. Lucene, I don't know where to uh, find stats this quickly, honestly. Could you maybe uh, send the link to me? I'd appreciate that. Alright, both runners having a good bridge segment. And entering the cap tower at the same time. Ooh, Crunchy going for- Oh, Crunchy getting Hydrophobia! Very nice. Now they're literally at the exact same spot even with the stream delay. Both runners get the left side, very nice. They're exactly synced up now on the stream. Due to Crunchy getting hydrophobia. Oh, Crunchy making a small mistake there, but they end up finishing capturing them at basically the same time. Oh yeah, right. I forgot there was uh no wait, there is no Discord screen share, Crunchy. Salmon is now streaming to me. That's why <laughs> that's why I've been looking on Twitch. We can hear you watching the stream. Okay, hold up. Yeah, okay, I'm not listening to... Uh... Yeah, okay, not not use a screen here. Sorry about that. I'm trying, okay? Crunchy making a small mistake on the first move, but that's fine. Both rooms exactly synced up again. What is that like on the frame? That's like synced up to the frame, that's crazy. <laughs> There's no way it's this synced. There's just no way. Sorry, that threw me really off guard. Alright. Is this just how it is <laughs> for every high for every higher division? Oh, Gaston slightly messing up their own. Uh, actually, no, not slightly. Messing up big time on Madame Brutal here. Messing up, messing up Madame Brutal again, but this time making quicker recovery. Alright, and Crunchy is off. To the Odyssey.
currently getting a relatively clean cascade there. Let me see. Gust and taking damage on the chain chop. That's a mistake that I really hate. Alright, well, now that they're both in the cutscene, I can actually try to find the information. I clicked on, like, I clicked on head to head, and it only shows me Denny versus Lucid. So I think I have to look somewhere else. This is the bracket. Alright guys, uh, I'm quickly, I'm try quickly trying to find the, the bracket, give me like a uh, few seconds, I won't, won't be commentating for a few seconds, I'm trying to find the, the stats. It only shows me Division S for some reason, which is really annoying. Yeah, I have, I have no idea where to find the where to find the information. All right, so be it then. All right. Where's everyone? Oh, they're in the village tour room. All right. Thank you, uh, Lucine. Alright, there are ones. Yeah, I saw it, Lucine. Thanks. It's surprising how synced up they are again. They're like two seconds apart. Let's see, but are they gonna get the motion control moon first try? Yes, both of them are. Alright, let's see. Both runners for going for Dram Strat. Let's see if they get it. Both of them get it. Very nice. Oh, Gustin making a mistake on the Crate Moon, though. He is not getting that bullet back. Luckily, a new one just spotted. Crunchy going for reverse Jaxi. Nailing it. Very nice. Gustin also going for it. And nailing it. Very nice. Oh, Crunchy losing his speed there. <laughs> I'm scared I'll accidentally call Gustin a Gushin. <laughs> Both runners are still just a few seconds apart. Gustin making a small mistake here, but very nice backup. Crunchy getting the plat clip cycle relatively easily there. Same for Gustin. Crunchy not grabbing a lot of coins there. Alright, Crunchy finishing 
a relatively clean Sand Kingdom. Same for Gustin, especially for his PB, that was a relatively clean Sand. Crunchy finishing with a 10.25, it seems. And Gustin with a... Uh, 10.33. Both runners are now off the lake. Yeah, Crunchy got a 451 sand, and Gustin got a 450 sand. Very nice. Alright, let's see. Will Crunchy get triple lake clip? Did he hit it? He did not hit trickle triple lake. Gustin isn't going for triple lake clip. Not not that uh surprising. Alright, very nice. Gustin also nailing lake clip. Unfortunately, uh, Crunchy did lose his advantage here because he can do triple lake clip. I've seen him do it in runs. Which means that he lost quite a few seconds of time save there. To not getting it. Relatively valuable time considering the runners are so close. If Crunchy makes a relatively big mistake, Gustin could just catch up like that. A death or accidentally taking damage could make all the difference here. They're like five seconds apart. Yeah, only seven seconds, I just counted. Crunchy not going for the camera clip. Obviously. I should stop pointing out like 59, 58 strats. Of course, was only hit by 7 out of sand because Gustin has been doing better in everything but Cascade. Yeah, Cascade, he made some uh, big mess up uh, in the Mad Brutal fight that cost him. That cost him like the, the number one spot here. He could have been ahead of Crunchy. I don't know what. <laughs> well, <laughs> I don't know what Crunchy is doing on the space cap right there, but. That show was interesting. Apart from the triple uh, lake clip miss, Crunchy did get a relatively clean uh, lake there, and same for Gustman. Yeah, Crunchy got a 250 lake, and Gustin got a... a 249 lake, so... Gustin is slowly catching up. Every single kingdom but Cascade, he's been doing better. Gustin even got a sub-220 uh, cap, he got a 219. Ooh, that's a big mistake right there. Gustin missing the, the rock grab. That cost him a few seconds, unfortunately. Oh, Crunchy losing a bit of time there. Same for Gustin. He's just he's just bouncing on the nut. That sounded very weird. I'm not gonna repeat that. <laughs> what have I done? All right, Crunchy did get uh, nut clip luckily. 
Oh, oh, Crunchy nearly falling out of bounds there. That would have been really bad. Gustin also gets nut clip. Taking a bit of time there, but at least he's not getting soft locked down. Gustin getting really clean movement, but then missing the moon. Crunchy's exactly one moon ahead right now. Going for the nut in the maze. Obviously, both front is not doing maze clip. If I recall, maze clip is frame perfect. Crunchy losing time because he wants to grab the checkpoint. I mean, understandable if he like misses flower road skip. Not having that checkpoint would be devastating. That did make his movement off. Uh, that did throw off his movement though because that was relatively slow. Oh, I'm sorry. My bad then. That is losing time though. Gustin is now ahead of Crunchy. Now, sorry, chat. My knowledge of the game also isn't perfect. But what I do know is that Gustin is ahead by now by quite a few seconds. Taking the lead over Crunchy. Yeah, I think it was a miscommunication, Lucy. Alright, both runners exiting the tower. Going down, misses! Misses the bounce. No, not that, Lucy. Oh, okay. Gustin losing a bit of his lead there by messing that up. Wow. It looks like they're almost equal again. In fact, because of that small stream delay we saw at the start, they might be, once again, basically tied. Which is crazy, honestly. Let's see how good Flooded Pipes will go for them. Both runners not going for uh, the moon clip there. What it was ass? It wasn't that bad, Crunchy. Oh, never mind, he can't hear. He can't hear me. Oh, yeah. And Gustin is ahead of his PB. And also ahead of Crunchy. Hey, Gustin, I'd say that means you have quite a bit of PB potential. Already minus 17 in Wooded. That doesn't even happen to me, and I have a 107. Both from us entering Cloud now. Let's hope they don't miss any let's hope they don't miss any fast ads. Ooh, crunchy nearly bonking there, that would have been bad. Runners doing good so far. I wish I was consistent in, uh, in cloud. Oh, 
All right, both runners getting uh, pretty much perfect uh, color right there. Nice. Oh, Crunchy bonking right there, just barely on that rock. Getting a frame perfect uh, spin pound, that's funny. It's crazy how close together they both still are. Any mistake from Gustin could mean that they will be tied again. Gustin taking damage there, meaning it's gonna get a health refill. And now Crunchy is ahead. That's how close they are. Yep, there's the mistake. Gustin going for the cage. Weird choice, but sure. All right. I'm not doing cage triple with these nerves. Yeah, very understandable, Crunchy. I'm trying to commentate a race, and tonight is sending me corrupted, corrupted Wii Sports messages, corrupted Wii Sports screenshots. Must be party. I need to stop getting distracted by tonight. It's honestly crazy just how how close together these two runners still are. They're like less than 10 seconds apart. So here's a fun fact, right? I never learned that Awning Jump had a name. Like, I, I literally just didn't know it had a name. I've just always been doing it. And literally didn't know it was a name. Until it appeared as a trick in the spreadsheets when I first commentated here. I thought it was just a nameless trick. She nearly messing up there by taking damage. Rodriguez are just pretty much synced again. What is happening? They should not be this synced. <laughs> this is like unreal. This is this is this is absurd. They're starting to fight at the exact same time. Oh, Crunchy missing. Oh, that sucks. Crunchy missed the giggler, probably because of the nerves. I know he's been he's really consistent at it. At least I think he is, so. Looks like he unfortunately just got hit by the nerves. Which sucks because he could have gotten a lead right here. 
Instead, now Gustin is slightly ahead. Oh, Crunchy nearly getting third cycle Wiggler. That would have been bad. Did Gustin just gold Knight Metro? Alright, both runners leaving Night Metro at still roughly the same time. It's just insane how close they still are. It's like just a bit over 10 seconds here, I think. I hope for Crunchy that works because that looks really far away. It did work, okay. I'm just a moron. Ooh, Gushin missing scooter clip. That could be bad if Crunchy can get drive by. He doesn't go for drive by, but he still gets scooter clip. Meaning that he saved a bunch of time there. He got it faster than Gustin. Did Gustin do drive by? Uh, no, he didn't. I saw, I saw he wasn't going for drive-by, that's not what I meant. I meant more like, it was relatively slow. His scooter glove. Yeah. Hi, Noah. Gustin seemingly forgetting his route. Or oh, that was just a really slow segment. But yeah, no, I, I, I didn't mean like that neither, I knew neither of them would probably go for drive-by, but like, more meant like that Gustav was just slow in comparison to Crunchy. Anyway. Gustav slightly messing up on the poles here. Gustin going for the vault for some reason. And now they're pretty much synced again. Alright. There's literally like one one second in between again. <sighs> Frenchy doing a long jump there. Yeah, I saw that he had to do the vault. Oh my god, Crunchy missing the moon. Losing a lot of time here. At least he got the backup jump first try, but that's bad. That lost him a lot of time. Did Crunchy grab the bullet bill on the cycle? Um, I believe so. I think I was looking at Gustin at the time, but he did capture a bullet bill. Instead of doing a vault. Oh, Crunchy, Crunchy messing up. Missing that jump in Metro lost him a lot of time. I didn't count him, but that was at least, like, probably 15 seconds. I hope Crunchy doesn't feel too demotivated about this. I would imagine he is still on PvP pace, uh, Ethan, because he was minus 17. Even with a slight mess up on Metro, like even if he was plus five right now, if he lost, even if he lost like 20 in Metro, he would still be on PvP pace. There's no way he's minus, dude. 
There's just no way Gustin is minus 40 right now. That's ridiculous. Gustin is playing out of his absolute mind. I don't know what an absolute mind is, but you can probably understand what I'm trying to say. Gustin on an insane PP pace in the snow. Honestly, I hope he doesn't ruin it to nerves. Imagine getting a 40 second PP, maybe even better, on a race. That would have been just crazy. All right, and Crunchy just entering uh, Snow right here, having lost most of his time to missing that jump right there in uh, in Metro, which was probably the biggest mistake of the run we of like the runners we've seen so far. Crunchy messing up uh, a cap bounce. Interesting. Yeah, it looks like Crunchy is just about 20 seconds behind. It could have been less if he didn't mess up that triple jump. What is Crunchy doing? Crunchy has a chance to be ahead of PB here. Um, I mean, yeah, but according to him, it's it's been ass so far. He's, he's just been playing ass. Gustin not going for the triple there, instead doing this pin pound. Crunchy getting the moon clip there. Very oh, never mind. I misread that. Crunchy too going for the spin pound. Uh, no, Lucina, I wasn't looking. I was distracted by uh, Crunchy. <laughs> Crunchy bonking on the entrance there. Alright, Gustin getting very clean movement. Very good ice room. From Gustin. I am still terrified of accidentally calling him uh, <laughs> Gushin. Let's see what Crunchy's gonna do here. Missing the triple due to not getting enough uh, distance. Oh, but Gustin is going for Shop Moon instead of. Uh, Snowdram, which could save Crunchy some time. Oh no, never mind. He's no, I'm just I'm just brain dead. I thought that was his last moon. Alright, Gustin getting Snowdram first try, unfortunately for Crunchy. Gustin, once again, getting a very clean kingdom. Honestly, at this point, I want to be updated about, like, how far his, like, what his PB pace is. Like, honestly, I was going in here rooting for uh, Crunchy. But now I'm rooting for Gustin because I want to see him PB.
All right, Crunchy slightly messing up the movement after slow drum, but he did get it. <laughs> Maybe Crunchy, because I don't think we've ever seen such a PB pace on uh, on this tournament yet. Oh, Gustin messing up here, though. Oh, that was bad. But getting a very nice backup. That didn't lose him that much time. Alright, Crunchy entering Sand. Nope. Seaside. My bad. Where is my brain today? I saw the beach and automatically said sand. Me and Gustin have done some races and he's been playing not that good in those, so he's just playing super good at the moment. Well, I hope for him that stays and he doesn't keep bonking. I would hate to see his PV pace die in Seaside, although honestly, I find it rather hard to believe you can lose 40 seconds in Seaside, so that's probably, probably don't have to worry about that. Crunchy spawn is really far behind at this point. It might be like... I haven't counted it, but it might be like 40 seconds. Okay, really such Crunchy spawn. Crunchy going for Clip Out of Bounds, getting it. But missing the moon and then taking forever to back it up because he's scared of flipping back in bounds. But he did get it, even though that was really slow and he lost like 5 seconds on getting that moon. That should still be faster. Although that is an un unfortunate time loss. Gustin going for fish clip. I think that's like one of the easiest, yeah that's one of the easiest out of bounds clips in the game. So of course he gets it first try. I don't remember the last time I failed the uh, fish clip. Chad, what about you? When is the last time you failed fish clip? Do you remember? Minus 57? Which is just an absolutely unreal pace from Gustin, honestly. Gustin on a crazy whole minute PV pace. I am rooting really hard for this guy right now. I'm pretty much, <laughs> I'm pretty much begging him to, uh, pretty much begging him to not mess up luncheon. Crunchy is right. This dude is on. This dude is on crap right now. Crunchy does do spirit list, meaning that if Gustin doesn't, he can win some time. But twenty five seconds is still a lot of seconds to be apart. Gustin going for salt triple, missing it. Getting a second try though. Oh, Crunchy just barely getting salt triple with an upward right there. Gustin going for spewardless. Hitting it. Okay. Now this is getting interesting. Which means that Crunchy does not have a time save from Route here. Although he did save time by getting a uh, Salt Triple first. Uh, try. Crunchy! I wasn't even paying attention! Crunchy accidentally hitting Spewart, not getting Spewartless. That is crazy.
That is crazy. Oh, you didn't do spiritless? Okay, I, I thought you did. I Then I must have like seen you practice it once. Yeah. Oh! Oh, but Gustin messing up slightly right there. But yeah, sorry, Crunchy. I, I thought... Uh, I thought that you did do Spiritless. I think I just saw you, like, practice it once and then assumed you did it. My bad. Crazy though that Gustin did Spiritless. Like, no one saw that coming. Currency spawn very distracted by this seemingly, not getting the movement right at all, losing time to a health refill. I saw it kinda coming. I didn't. This guy is almost at 103 level, and here he is doing spewerless. He's on absolute crap right now. Even though he's making Even though he's making slight mistakes here and there, like that second try assault triple. I think we can all agree that Gustin is still just on crap right now. But yes, he does need to land Invisible Lock. I'm hoping he practiced for this because even a minute PV pace can end the luncheon. We all know how luncheon is like. Let's see Gustin's Spiritless movement. Very fast. Please make it okay. I just. That scared me. Crunchy. Probably not winning the race at this point, let's be honest. This guy is ridiculous. This guy is actually ridiculous. Does he get it? He does get it. He barely. Oh my god, this guy is insane. Barely getting the movement there. That was extremely close. That could have gone very bad in like 10 different ways and it somehow just barely did not. Gustin is like four moons ahead at this point. I cannot believe what I'm watching. This is like, pff, thank the lord I signed up for this race. <laughs> like, <laughs> holy shit. I am practically begging for Gustin to please, please get Invisiblock. Like, holy shit. He gets invisible block, let's go. Crunchy, if you're watching this back, I'm very sorry. I should have been I should be rooting for you, but Gustin is just going nuts right now. He is playing out of his mind. Like this is just ridiculous. Please don't die here. Thanks for not dying, Gustin. I'm saying it for like the third time, but Gustin is just on absolute crack right now. Crunchy dying! I'm sorry, but we can probably tell who's winning the race at this point. The only thing that might make a difference is Mech. My... Gustin getting another 8 seconds in luncheon. Crunchy messing up again. Gustin on his way to ruin. 
chat. I don't want to jinx this. But he is 48 seconds ahead right now. The only way I can see him messing up this PV base is mech. At this point, I would honestly not be surprised if he goes for 2DSS. I know he's not, but like, I wouldn't even be crazy surprised anymore at this point. I know he's not Salmon, but like... <laughs> I know Salmon. I wasn't meaning it literally, but like, I'm just, I'm just trying to say that this guy is just going insane. Crunchy leaving Ru- uh, I mean, Crunchy leaving luncheon just now. While Gustin is already deep into the- into the ruined fight. Balls deep, even. Hey. All right. Crunchy just starting the fight while Gustin is already on the last phase. Oh, Gustin messing up the movement there, but making this move recovery. Oh, Gustin on 1 HP right now. Please, Gustin, do not die. I will actually cry. Gustin thankfully not dying. Although he probably did lose a bit of time in Bruin. Crunchy getting a backwards triple jump, that was funny. Crunchy finishing the ruined fight, gaining a little bit of time over Gustin since he. Oh, never mind. That was phase two. I am going insane. Why do I call him a date? <laughs> Someone just died in pillars an hour ago. Please do not let that happen to Gustin. Speaking of, he's just finishing ruined. Entering Bowser's right now on, I think, roughly minus 45. Cass seems like the most cursed commentator. Why? Yeah, he is just he's just a god gamer. Crunchy just leaving ruin while Gustin has already collected the first story moon of Bowser's. Tonight keeps sending me cursed Wii Party images. This evening is insane. Gustin entering shards, let's hope he gets a good shards here. Let's be honest, we all want to see him win. Or at least see him PB. Because even if he doesn't win, that seems like a good ending. Oh, slightly messing up there, having to stop so he wouldn't take damage from the bomb. 
Speaking of which, he just did. That's unfortunate. Losing a bunch of time in shards, but nothing like crazy. That's like maybe... 5, maybe 10 because of the damage recoil. True Zypher. Wait, actually, I missed that. How? What happened to Max uh, today? Would someone mind informing me? I haven't been following the the races today. Honestly, at this point, you know. Honestly, at this point, someone should just ping on pace Odyssey. Like someone here just has to ping on pace Odyssey. Like someone just do it. This is like a real like 101 phase. You already did? Nice, uh, Ethan. Oh, you didn't brew it. Alright. Gustin seemingly messing up Bowser's a bit, probably due to nerves, and I don't blame him. This must be like, I mean like this is and a race, and he's on a crazy PB pace, so I do not blame him for making nerves mistakes here. Like, I mean, come on, this is just, this is crazy. Let's hope Gustin's stopper will be good. Did Gustin do Bowser Jam? Um, I'm not sure, I didn't see. Oh yeah, he did, apparently. Currently getting Tsarabalma, that's pretty cool. Tsarabalma. I mean, Zypher, an easy 100. That would mean he would have to be a minute and 50 seconds ahead right now. That's like, that's a, that's a lot to ask. Maybe like a mid, one, mid 101. Because you can't tell me he lost a minute. Or like at least 40 seconds in Luncheon and Cascade combined. Oh, Gushin nearly, nearly dying there. Crunchy messing up Topper, unfortunately. You said Gushin? Oh, sorry. Sorry, my faults are just all over the place right now. Like, this is... This is a crazy run. I am actually, like... Feeling weird on my stomach because of this. Like, I am hoping Gustin PB so badly. Crunchy is a long way behind right now. Oh, no. Gustin... Please, I am begging you to not mess up. Gustin, please. Please, Gustin. Thank you. No! Oh, Gustin falling off neck. Luckily on first uh, cycle, which isn't damn terrible. Why did I say cycle? Like, first bubble is not damn terrible to fall. Uh... Fuck. Oh, poor Gustin. Who knows? Might still be on PV base. If he just stays up on the mech right now.
No, it's over for Gustin. Ugh, mech. I hate the mech. That must be very demotivating. Why is Crunchy standing up? Crunchy not sitting on the chair, standing up. S standing in front of his bookshelf. Crunchy might gain all his time back here just because of just because of mech, which would be ridiculous. I think he might be standing up because of uh, nerves. That's my theory, because nerves can mess you up really badly. And sometimes sitting down just makes it worse. Well, Gustin at least getting target acquired. Crunchy also getting target acquired. It looks like Gustin has completely lost his PB pace here though. I'm pretty confident that that was more than 40 seconds of time loss. Which is really unfortunate. Because I would have loved to see Gustin PB here. Anyways, now that the PB is probably over, back to the run. The race, I mean. Crunchy is now, Crunchy with his like nearly perfect mech is now just a mere, what is it? 10 seconds behind Crunchy. Meaning that who's gonna win is all gonna come down to Moon Kingdom. Gustin will have to get uh, a pretty good moon to win. But Crunchy, assuming that Gustin doesn't mess up, Crunchy is gonna ha is gonna need like the most awesome moon ever. Does anyone know if if Gustin is still on PB pace? If he's like minus two or something? Low five to x two PB still. That's doable. Plus A to PB, that's so unfortunate. That is extremely unfortunate, really. Ah. Uh. Crunchy entering Moon as well. Yep, this is really all gonna come down to Moon Kingdom. Crunchy barely getting the triple jump there. BPT 102.45. So Gustin is gonna need a good, but... Okay. Guys, I think Gustin... I think it's over for Gustin. Unfortunately. What this does mean is that both runners... Are extremely close together now. Like Gustin just finished doing uh, Moon Cave Skip, while Crunchy just gets it. Getting faster, getting faster Moon Cave Skip, but then messing up the movement afterwards. Losing time to Gustin probably over that mistake he had earlier. Meaning that this is all gonna come down to Bowser fight and escape. Gustin getting the fast cycle strat for Bowser. And Crunchy also entering the Bowser right now. Let's see what he does. He also gets it. Crunchy saying GG in chat, even though they're only like 10 seconds apart. Never mind, they're more than 10 seconds apart. I am bullshitting. Gustin missing fast hats, that's... Gustin not going for fast hats second, uh, second cycle anymore, understandable. They're tied again, pretty much! 
This is unreal. How is this so close? Gustin is like five seconds ahead. Gustin, unfortunately, not on PV phase anymore. Oh, um, Lucene, I messed up second try fast hats, and then I just redid it in cloud. It was like uh, a few streams ago. I'm not sure if Crunchy clipped it, but he remembers. He can tell you. I messed up fa uh, second cycle. Uh, I messed up like second cycle fast hats in cloud, and then I just redid it because I didn't know like hat hitboxes got extended. I just got it. I don't know. Crunchy can tell you. I don't know if he clipped it. Anyways, back to the race. Like Lucene says, it's all gonna come down to escape, as the runners are literally no more than 5 seconds apart right now. It is ridiculous how close this is, like... Mech made all the difference in this race. Let's see, is Crunchy- no, Crunchy not going for 2 DSS. Duh. They're literally tied! Like... No, no, Plexi. They're tied, because Crunchy started his run two seconds later. Crunchy is like a second ahead right now. all coming down to pillars. They weren't exactly synced summon. At the start of the run they were like two seconds off. This is gonna be the closest race that I think we may have seen so far. It's coming down to the last pillar! What is this? Crunch taking the lead last second! There's no. This, there's this is just not real. This is not happening. No wait, this has to be retimed. This literally has to be retimed. This has to be retimed. This has to be retimed. Re Crunchy de celebrating for. <laughs> Crunchy celebrating for. One second of bars? This is insane. I can't believe I'm commentating this. Hi, 5 billion people. Hi to the 5 billion people who are gonna rewatch this on YouTube. Absolutely insane race. Like, I think this is the most insane race I have either watched or commentated. Genuinely, just completely insane how close this was. I do agree, Combo. It sucks that uh, Gustin lost his uh, lost his PB pace to Mech. Absolutely ridiculous how close this is, though. I, I'm still uh, of the opinion that it has to be retimed. But looking at Considering that Gustin started earlier and Crunchy spawn finished earlier, yeah, it looks like Crunchy has won this race by just by like two seconds. Absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely insane race we've just watched. One hundred three oh two point eight eight three, my Gustin. According to Autumn, 
I am literally the chokler. Yeah. Well, congratulations to Crunchy for winning the race. And even though uh, Gustin didn't end up being, I do want to congratulate him too because he got just he got just that close against a low 101 brother. He he literally barely didn't beat a 101 runner to the punch. And Crunchy winning by just wow. Crunchy winning by just two seconds. Absolutely insane race. Congratulations to, to Crunchy. And once again, also congratulations to Gustin for showing just how remarkable he can run this game for like his PB level. Yeah, like Luxie says, if he had fallen off Mech just once even, if he if he fell off like even just a bit later, like like one bubble later, he would have won. Yeah, exactly what Crunchy says. I'm seeing a low one one coming your way soon. Yeah. Genuinely. The incredible performance, Gustin. Alright, now I'm gonna wait for the runners to join the commentary booth. I'm hoping Crunchy comes in. Well, I mean, and Gustin too, obviously. His average no risk is 108. You played phenomenally for a 108. Justin. Crunchy, hello, welcome to the comment. Hello. Oh my god. I I I I just cannot believe the race that I just commented on. Like that this The stars need to have a line or something for me to have won that. You do not understand the amount of times I have screamed during this race. Oh I was listening the entire time to your it's your thing. Same man. Gustin, I you played Incredibly well up until Mech. My yeah, oh my god. god. Yeah. When he started doing Spiritless, I I was like, what? Uh, what? Yeah, that this, threw this me off guard. That. that threw me off guard incredibly too. So, well, Gustin. The thing Gustin was, like, I was nervous like the whole time. And, like, I, I really didn't have any hopes going into the th the th this race. Like, yeah, crazy. Yeah, Gustin, is it? Did, do you think you failed mech because of uh, nerfs? Oh, definitely. Yeah, I mean, like, that's very yeah, understandable, because what was your pace into mech? Was it like minus 45? Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah, absolutely or, yeah, insane. I don't know. Yeah. You know, you could have done literally basically anything differently and you would have won. Like, not messing up in Cascade there on the Madame Brutal fight. Speaking yeah, of, you kind of, you kind of had a bit of a breakdown there, did you? Uh, yeah. I, uh, I had no idea what to do when I fell down the mech. When I was yeah. in sand, I was like, oh, this guy must be an early game anti like me because we are like tied. And then like in luncheon, he was like doing spiritless. He got an, a crazy good luncheon. What luncheon did you get? Uh, oh, well, it wasn't that good, but like 629, 20, I think. So yeah, it wasn't really you that good. You didn't mess up. Then. That was well, like... crazy. It was no, I like got, 14 like, of Dude, I got the Dustin, luncheon of all the, time. The, the, the whole yeah. chat, the whole chat and Crunchy, and me, everyone's just shocked seeing you go for for Spewardless. That was... Yeah. We were sitting here like, in, what the hell? In the mech split, you know I died doing blind jump, right? Oh, what? Oh, no. I, I no died idea. because I got a frame perfect CRJ. Which caused me to not have another cap bound. I got oh, I, I, I just lost mean... because of that, I've been so mad. I'm gonna be honest, Crunchy. I was like very focused on Gustin for most of the run, so I didn't well, notice that. I, yeah. I hope you understand. Uh, special thanks to Vitox for that win because I was stealing his energy from the air going into Moon Kingdom. <laughs> That's funny. Um, yeah. Yeah. Well. Oh, yeah. Gustin, did you beat any golds actually? Uh, yeah. Well, like I did have a late gold, uh, but like it was so close to my actual gold 
and it's like invalid. Uh, but I thought I, I'd keep it because like uh, it was. I mean, so it is it is your day. it is your real goal. Like that is your last time you've beaten Lego. Well, yeah, but it's like uh, without the um, you know warp text. Oh yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Oh yeah, Crunchy, you messed up triple Lake Club, did you? Yeah. So recently, I don't know. Someone stole my triple Lake Club consistency because I actually can't do it at all. I spent about. 20 minutes practicing it, I didn't get it a single time because I get whipped forwards instead of backwards. I'm still waiting for someone to explain to me what I'm doing wrong. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Yeah, then that sucks. Um, I mean, I've also seen, uh, what was it? I think it was Geek uh, losing his consistency in Nutclip recently. So you're not the only person mm. having the problem right now, apparently. When I, speaking of Nutclip, when I was in Nutclip out of bounds and I bonged, I almost had a heart attack because I was really close to falling back in bounds. Oh, yeah, me too. We were walking. Yeah. We were like, ooh. I would have lost like 30 if that happened. Yeah, that so. would have been bad. I mean, My... like, you guys, literally any mistake, like even a bonk could have made the difference in who won this race. You're like, it's, it's just unreal. Yeah, it's insane. Yeah, it's uh, like you it's like you two train to tie it up, like genuinely. During you yeah, you'll have to watch the VOD, but during uh Cascade, you know like uh the segment after you get the first moon up until the Odyssey? Yeah, you guys and the names are wrong. You guys were synced to the frame there, like on stream. Like literally to the frame. From first from first moon to uh Odyssey cutscene, you were literally like, sync to the frame, it was ridiculous. Like, my run, like, CCSL was good, Wooded was trash, then Lost was good, then uh, Night Metro was quite bad, Day Metro was, was only bad because of Blind Dive. I didn't, mm -hmm. like, spin the analog stick the right direction, so I didn't get a full speed dive. So I barely didn't touch the moon. And then snow was, I mean, it was okay, but like the outside was terrible. Uh, seaside, that fish and dips in seaside was. Yeah, uh, you, you messed up. Uh, you messed up there. I saw it. We were looking and we were like, you yeah, got I lost like desperate. five there. That fish yeah. and dips only saved me like a second because of how bad that out of bounds was. Better than clipping back in, at least. Yeah. Really, really, really unfortunate, especially because literally any trick going different here could have just made the difference. It, like, my yeah. uh, my luncheon was decent until I just died, and then, like, I, I, I never had to get back up after dying there. Oh, yeah, oh, no, so I, I didn't, didn't know what to I, do. I, I, did I just started this. messing I, I didn't know you dying there, right, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I and then, right, then, back with triples in ruins, say, 50, and that's why I won the race. Yeah, I don't know. It was just like everything about this race was absolutely crazy. It was like the the Noah race all over again, honestly. We're, wow, that that is a crazy division A race. Yeah, yeah. I was not expecting that. Yeah. I mean, I was expecting. Oh, all I have to do is get like a one o two and I win. Now I didn't even get a one o two, but that's because I was like. I was so certain I had lost that I was like extremely demotivated and started messing everything up. That's like basically the reason. And somehow still yeah. winning. Art yeah, then. I think that's the closest um, race. Yeah. So yeah, quick, most quick. likely. I was honestly like faking the whole run. Uh because like I, I knew I knew like uh, oh wow, a good cat, then uh, I will throw in Cascade. Uh, which I kind of did. But yeah, like I, I was basically shaking the whole time, and then finally in Mick, uh, yeah, it got, up got to me. You. Yeah, the the nerves got up to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's it's very unfortunate because you could have been on a good PB pace. I mean, you were. It could have been a really good PB. Yeah. Well, like this is so much better than like most of my my no resets. Like I've been doing some races with the uh, Salmon to uh, practice, mm -hmm. and uh, like I, I've been averaging on like one o nine. Or something like it. This wow, could yeah. not have been this good. Wow. You moved. Yeah, no. Then this is then this is especially crazy. Like, when when we were in pillars, I messed up first pillar quite bad. I was like, oh, it's so over. 
And then I think, I don't know what he messed up. I think he messed up something in last spellout because I looked at the screen and I was still like three seconds behind going into starting shooting last spellout because I took damage. I, I'm gonna I've watch always... that back. I'm gonna watch that back. Yeah, like I've always been like so inconsistent at pillars. Like, I mostly don't even get like sub one. Yeah, you know, just just getting a better pillars here could have made you win the race. It's just insane how close it was. Yeah. Oh my god. So, um, yeah, I do think we're gonna uh, end the interview here because I'm pretty sure in like ten minutes there's a new race. I might be wrong here. Let me check on the spreadsheet real quick. Yeah, yeah it's there, in ten there, minutes. Yeah. So um, I think we're gonna have to make room now. So uh, thanks to both of you for participating. Gustin, congrats on getting such a good run until Mech, and Crunchy, congrats on winning the race. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. All right then. Uh, now it's that guy versus evening. Mr. Jerky Jerky, by the way. Oh yeah, it that and guy. Troy's gonna Mr. commentate. Jerky. All right then. I think we all three of us uh, head out now. Yeah. Bye. All right. Bye. 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 Chat. Have fun watching the next run. You both have fun watching the next run, and uh, yeah. Bye bye.